What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Railroads Online, and today we're right in front of the Roundhouse area, and that is because we're going to put the Porter to the test. Betsy is no longer overpowered, and so I figure we might as well test that and see how true that is. So here we've got good old Betsy, the, pretty much the best engine at the beginning of this game, and now it is not overpowered like it used to be. So... We're going to do a trip to the iron mine today, which is just because we need to deliver some wood and stuff to get iron, but it's also a really good track to sort of test different things with different trains. We're going to need to get some wood, so we'll fill up on that, and we should probably move this into position, but we're going to go to the iron mine with Betsy, and while we get Betsy out here, we're going to talk a little bit about the math. So the trip to the iron mine is mostly 3 to 4% uphill, mostly 3%. Small sections of 4%, maybe. I'm Honestly, I can't remember. I think I built it mostly at 3%. Um, but it's a uphill for the entire trip. So it's a good way to test the pulling power of any specific engine. Betsy, up a 3%, can only pull 67,000 pounds. So not a whole lot of weight compared to the, like, you know, quarter million we were pulling with the Cook Mogul. So it's a very, very... Oh, that's cute. It rolled all the way to the back. But yeah, so it's a very underpowered engine, and this Betsy is just heavier with the same pulling power, so we can pull even less. And so what we're going to do is pull one cart of lumber and two carts of beams. So the lumber cart fully loaded will weigh 26,674 pounds. The beam carts each weigh 18,145 pounds. And so for a total, if we have two beam cars and one lumber car, because that's the ratio to go to the logging camp. You need six of each. Uh, it will be a total of 62,964 pounds of weight. And that's three cars basically fully loaded with some products. And of course, Betsy pulls 67,000 something. So, you know, 62 to 67,000, that would be good enough. You know, it would do it no problem. But what we're gonna do is also pull one extra empty car at the end, because each empty weighs 8,800 pounds. And so, you know, if we add that on to the end, theoretically, it'll be 71,000 pounds, which is more than what Betsy could actually pull up the hill. And if Betsy stalls out, we'll just ditch the last car and, you know, presumably we'll keep going. So that's the plan for today. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, we're kind of coming out on the wrong track, but that's actually fine. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see if it works. Not exactly sure if it will, and I'm hoping that this will prove that Betsy, number one, isn't overpowered, and number two, actually can pull, you know, what it says it can pull. I hope the math made sense. There's some big numbers in there. Someone said I should convert it to metric and do everything in metric, but I mean, so 67,000 pounds in metric would be, oh, uh, what the, oh, the switch wasn't, oh my god, it landed on the track. Let's go. Wow, that, Betsy, you're a champ. You are amazing. Never change. But yeah, someone said I should convert it to metric. It'd still be like 10,000, what is it, like 30, 30 tons? Something like that? 30, 30, 30 tons? All right, so we're gonna just bring Betsy past this other switch here, flip it onto the main line, and we're gonna hook up four empty cars, four empty stake cars, the one that carry planks and stuff. And we're gonna load up three of them at the sawmill and then bring them all up to the iron mine. And if the math is true, Betsy should be able to pull the three loaded ones, but the fourth will bog it down. But once we ditch the fourth, did I switch? I switched it too early. Betsy, are you going to do it again? Oh my god, you're amazing. Why do we even need switches? Seriously. Bet that's two for two. Betsy, you're a champion. You're nev literally never changed. That is amazing. I've never seen that happen before. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to bring up... I can't even make this up. How did, how did that... Twice in a row, that just happened. That is all right, and the switch is now set for us to leave. That's just that's just perfect, unbelievable. But yeah, we're gonna pick up three cars. Um, let's make sure these are set. Dear Lord, I can't. What is this? What is this game? This is amazing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring four cars. We're gonna ditch one. We'll keep going. We'll pick up the fourth afterwards because we'll unload the products. Once we unload them, Betsy will be able to pull four empties. We'll go back, pick up the fourth, come back down from the iron. It all makes sense, okay? There, I had a script. I didn't really have a script. I never script anything, and uh, I've just, I'm just been, I don't know what to say anymore. Okay, four cars. That's, that's here. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, math is good. Might as well turn the brakes off on these four. Yeah, okay, we'll just, it doesn't matter. All right, we'll get Betsy hooked up. Probably Betsy's just drifting in. 
This is this is great. This is what a what a wonderful. I really like this physics update. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big fan of having to do the math and the load calculations, and I'm happy to put stuff to the test. So I'm really excited. Number one, we need more iron. So this is just gonna give us six iron, which isn't a lot, but you know it's something. And I want to see if Betsy's overpowered because Betsy was just so broken before. It was literally the best engine in the game. Um, there we go. That's pinned. Perfect. So let's get some firewood in this thing. You know, throw it through the outside wall. I haven't even filled this, like, once. Well, I filled it once, and then I haven't filled it since then. And now you could just delete it and respawn a new one, which makes sense, because if, you know, you run out of wood somewhere, and you don't have one of these depots, then, you know, it would suck. But you still could technically get unlimited firewood. Of course, we do have the line to unload it. I like to, I like to play realistic. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is still... Yeah, it's still, like, got 22 wood in it. It's kind of insane. Loaded it with cordwood once, never had to do it again. It's amazing. Love it. It would be cool if there was a way to load this faster. Are these even... They are. They're filling up the stash. We're just gonna fill Betsy completely. I mean, the thing is, Betsy's one thing. Imagine filling... I've never filled one of my bigger engines yet. Like, I've just been using the firewood that's on them. But at some point in time, I'm gonna have to fill one of them up with firewood. Which basically means I'm gonna pull it onto this line right here... And just stand on the depot and, like, huck wood at it. Which, I mean, I guess is what you'd do in real life. But it would be cool if there was, like, a crane or something on this side. Or something we could do to just instant load the whole amount. Because there's 400 firewood there. I mean, it's, it's, it is a lot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Betsy's good to go. Let's, uh, open this up. Firebox. Yeah, you're dead. And we'll fill that right away. And head on out. I'm excited. The first trip of the Porter in a long time. You know what? Just for this, we're going to drive it completely manually because that says success. Uh, that's forward, reverser. Let's go 30%. Now, on flat ground, the Porter could actually pull 711,000 pounds. So, you know, pulling four cars on flat ground shouldn't be any issue. And small hills, 1%, 2%. You know, we get still 103,000 pounds at 2% gradient, so it should have no issue pulling this load at all until we get onto the really steep 3-4% section, and that goes for a while, so it'll be a good test of this engine's capability, but I'm really excited, you know, it's nice that the Porter is kind of like an early game engine, you know, like, this kind of a train, this four car train, that's what I would expect as an early game train, you know, you're pulling 3-4 log cars at a time, you're delivering them to the sawmill, until you can afford a bigger engine. And then now you can afford the Eureka. And you go, you know, up and wait right away. As soon as you get the Eureka from the Porter. So it just makes more sense progression wise. And uh, I'm really glad they, they made that change. Because before it was it was honestly just get five Porters and you're good to go. Never buy anything but a Porter. This feels like we've gone back in time. Back to when this railroad was first laid out. We delivered some logs to the sawmill. And we were super excited to sell those lumber products back to the freight depot. It was simpler times back then. The trees were less cut back from the track due to an update which cut the trees back. It cost two dollars to clear a tree, so clearing trees didn't seem economical. The porter would be pulling 40 cars up a 6% grade. Those were the days of the early railroads. We still just free stand on cars as we drive. That's not, that hasn't changed. I wonder how much the porter is going to react to the weight of the load. Holy cow, you're bogging down on this hill? Bro. This is like 2%, man. Give it 100% reg. This is like, this is literally like 2%. Oh, maybe it's 3. Oh yeah, that one section back there looks a little steep. That might be a 3% section for like a small bit. But dang, that it really bogged down on that tiny little bit of hill. We should probably smooth that out a bit. We could smooth this whole thing out, build that corner a little bit nicer. Alright, I think the sawmill lines are probably mostly set. Let's just, uh, let's back this off. 26%, sure. Uh, that line's set, but this is set to go down to the smelter. So we're just gonna have to turn one of them. And then do the old back out thing, because... As the comments say, I'm never going to actually build the Y. We're just going to talk about it every episode. See, you guys you guys think you figured it out, but I just need to keep it without the Y so that every episode I have something to talk about when we get to the sawmill. Like, oh, um, imagine what's going to happen when we get a Y here and how great that'll be. And we'll be able to just, you know, do all sorts of shunting and stuff. 
No, I, I am gonna build this up at some point. Go! You made it. What a champ. But yeah, it does need to be built up. It, it is kind of annoying to have to keep backing out when we can just drive through and then pull out. And then I also need to make some shunting lanes and passing lanes. Don't worry, it's happening. There is a plan. There is. I've, I've gotten the budget approval, and we're almost there. There's just like three more steps that need to be done, and there's like a town hall meeting that has to happen, and then it'll get approved, and, and we'll be good to go. It's going to be fine. All right, so we are going to pull in here. Uh, let's go full break. Need to load up one car with these lumber pieces. Did I go too? Wow, okay. It takes a lot of effort to break now. Interesting. Let's go back a little bit here. Perfect. Something like that. All right, let's load up this one car. We have enough, right? Oh, yeah, 95 tons. Perfect. No more logs, though. We're going to have to get more logs at some point. But one car of lumber is six lumber, which is perfect. And it is 26,000 pounds, which is heavy. But that's exactly what we need. And then we need two cars of beams because they're three each, which makes for six beams. And, of course, the iron ore mine, just like pretty much every other industry, takes products at a one-to-one -one ratio. So we want six and six and then the extra empty just to get the weight of this train up to 71,000 pounds. Which hopefully will prove that Betsy can, in fact, only pull 67,000 pounds not 70,000. So when we ditch the final car, our train weight will go down to 63,000 pounds, which in theory, Betsy should have absolutely no problem pulling up the 3% hill. Although to be honest, it's struggled a bit on that straight section of track, so I am a little bit worried. But the days of running Betsy with like 30% regulator are over. If you want to run Betsy, you need to run it at like 100%, just like every other train if you want to get its maximum pulling capacity. So... We're actually going to have to run Betsy at 100% the whole way up, which means it might run out of water, actually. Oh, no, we're still at 499. Okay, never mind. I think you can overfill Betsy. It's kind of amazing. All right, um, how do I... <laughs> Trying to drive this in first person is kind of cool. It's a whole different challenge. We got to just... Okay, one car, one more car. Just a little bit of brake. I think that's probably good. That looks, that looks reasonable. Hopefully. It's awesome. Driving this in first person is great. I dev I'm so excited for flags. You have no idea. As soon as flags come out, I'm going to spend so long at every station just putting flags to mark cars. You bring a train next to it, you park the train in line with the platform, and then you put down flags marking every car all the way around. So you can just go up three flags, up two flags, whatever. It'll be fantastic. I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. Or signs or whatever. I just need, like, posts. I know people do it with, like, foundation pieces and stuff, but that's kind of a lot of effort. I just want to be able to, like, click and place something down, you know? All right, perfect. So, we are a fully loaded train. Uh, we got 17,000 pounds, 8,100 kilos, uh, 4,230 kilos, 9,300 pounds for these loads, plus the weight of the four cars. So, theoretically... We should be good to go. We got to just back out. Full reverse. Our first test will be going up the 1% hill because we're going to back out onto that bridge that comes up into the lumber camp. And that is for sure 1% up. So it'll be interesting to see if we can start on that 1% with this load. Theoretically, it shouldn't be any issue. Betsy's got more than enough pulling power for that. But the iron ore route will definitely test the limit. I can't get up on top of this load. Can I? Okay. Okay, I guess, I guess we're just not, we're just not, we're, okay, no, I, I wanna, uh-oh, okay, oh, let's, oh, there we go, weird, I guess you can't jump, you just gotta walk into it, all right, excellent, now let's go full forward, excellent, regulator off, brake off, brake on this car off, we're doing it, we got wheel slip, no wheel slip, how do you check wheel slip if you're, well, I guess you could look down and see the wheel there. Could I lean out enough? I guess you just have to, like, feel it. Kind of like when you do with a car. If you're sliding on ice in the winter, you just kind of feel that your car is sliding. I don't know how you feel a train, though. That sounds really weird. Oh, I, I guess I should open the window before I... There we go. Before I lean out the window. Perfect. We're playing trains for real today. This is actually amazing. I don't spend enough time driving in first person. I really should with some of the bigger locos. It's actually kind of fun. 
And it's not really that much different now in third person and first person because before, you know, whenever you would get out of the engine, it would cut all your controls. So that was always like the fail safe. But now you don't have that anymore, which is fantastic. So if you're playing in third person or first person, it doesn't matter. You still have to remember to turn off all the controls, which is basically the same deal. Although I feel like this way I'm more likely to slip and get some runaway trains. All right, so we got to run ahead. Um, I think I can just let Betsy coast and we can run ahead and set the switch. Are we faster? Or we're the same speed. We're slightly faster. Okay, this is perfect. Yeah, we'll run ahead and set the switch to head up to the iron mine. And <laughs> okay, How, how's it going? You just, you just, no, you're you're actually quicker downhill. Okay, let's let's just give you a little bit of break. There we go. Now I'm faster, right? Yeah, perfect. I think this bridge is like 2.75 percent right off the bat. Mind you, we have some speed and momentum here, which we can carry. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the bridge is, is relatively aggressive. 0%. Let's go 100% on the reg. How are we doing on water? Looks fine. How are we doing on fire? 57%. Let's throw in some more. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Load looks good. Yep. Alright, let's see if we make it. This is 71,000 pounds. Up a primary 3% grade. Now, it's not a constant 3% like we've talked about before. You know, turns make it a little bit worse. There's obviously some frictions in the turns which make it worse. Uh, there are some sections that are flatter than 3%. There are some sections that are steeper than 3%. But, theoretically, Betsy can't pull this load up 3%. We are 4,000 pounds too heavy. But if we ditch the empty trailer at the back, we'll clear up that 4,000 pounds. We'll actually clear up 8,000 pounds, 9,000 pounds almost. And that should be enough to make this trip work. So this is it. I haven't actually looked at... Oh, this bridge. I haven't looked at this bridge in the new uh, the physics update. Looks kind of cool. I really, really like it. I've only ever seen it in the winter portion of the game. But actually, I really like the original, though. The, the green forestry feels... I mean, the winter's cool, don't get me wrong, but I kind of like that it was a seasonal thing. It does feel cool to be back in the forest. The hard part about the winter was building foundation, honestly, because it's white on white. At least now it's it's brown on green, so it's a little bit easier. But here we go. We're on to the run-up to the bridge section. And this ramp basically just hits it like 3% almost right away, and that's it. So we should hear Betsy start bogging down. Or, or maybe this isn't 3% yet. I don't know. Are you gonna, you gonna, you just gonna do it? It might not actually bog down. It might just, it might just actually make it all the way. I guess it depends on a lot of things. Momentum. Carry. 71,000, this is technically 3,000, 3,500 pounds, 4,000 pounds have too heavy. That's exactly how much. 4,000 pounds. It doesn't, doesn't seem to matter yet. Okay. Oh. Is it finally just losing speed? Maybe that's all it was. It just had momentum. It's losing speed now. I don't know. Betsy might just pull through. 4,000 pounds too heavy. Betsy might just still do it. It might just be the little engine that could, you know? It's... It's bogging a bit, but it's not really... Yeah, it's not really, uh... Not... Oh, now it's really chugging. This turn needs to be fixed so bad. I really need to fix this line. The iron line in general actually just needs some fixing. It's got some sharp turns that need to be adjusted. I don't... It's... It's chugging along. It gets up, so right there, you can see it kind of increases in angle a little bit. Right past this next wooden bridge, this little small one. And there is a sharp increase in angle to go like 3.2% or something, or 3.5. I, I think we're going to have to ditch the car here soon. It's amazing if it really took this long to slow down at, at an overweight load. I mean, it makes sense. You have momentum, you're carrying momentum. You're not pulling the full load weight. You're just slowly losing the momentum, right? I think, I think now we've lost enough, though. Betsy's not gonna... It's not gonna do it. 
Okay, so we're gonna be dead in the water here in a sec. Let's just get ready for that. We don't want to lose the wheel slip or anything. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be dead in the water here. Alright, and... Okay, stop. Full break. Okay. So, we almost made it. It was a lot further than I thought we would. Uh, I think that sharp turn there, really, that was, that was the final straw. But anyway, so here's the theory. If we take this car and break it and disconnect it, now we've just lost 8,000 pounds of weight. 9,000 pounds. So theoretically, Betsy should be able to dead start this. Full reg, no break. Uh-oh, we're sliding. Uh, um, wait, wait. No, is wait, we just need sand, right? We just need sand. Sand gives us friction when we're we've got no traction. Come on, Betsy. This is like maybe we just need a little bit of a little bit of speed. It's just we're so close to the limit. We're only 4,000 pounds above what we can pull and this might be just above 3%. Like it's it might not be a perfect and then there's friction, and then this is literally the limit of Betsy. It wants to go. It really does. We, you know what? It's, it's a little bit steeper. Let's just back up just a little bit more, right? And then I think we're good. Let's just let's just let it roll back a little bit more. There's like a slightly flatter section right here at this bridge. And I think if we have just a little bit of speed, it'll carry through. 4,000 pounds. That's crazy. We're right at that limit. All right, let's stop here. Full brake. Uh, okay, anytime you want to... Oh god, does it have too much now? Come on, you should be able to do it. Let's break this car too. Full break, full forward. Oh my god, this is so cool. Alright, 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 alright. Do I need to... Let's... Full reg, full forward. Full, full reg, yeah. Full forward, full reg. No break on Betsy. No break on you. Come on. Come on, you want to do it, Betsy. Don't make me disconnect another car. This one's definitely detached, right? I mean, let's just make sure. Let's pull that out. I think, I think it's definitely detached. God, it's so close. It is... It's literally... Like, it's not slipping. It just... Oh, is it going? Come on, go. 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 Yes. Yes, build up speed. All right, let's put the, let's put the sander on. Where's the sander... That's cylinder cox. Where's the sander in real there, here? Uh drag down, open. Are you are you sanding? Are you sanding? You are. Okay, perfect. Let's just make sure we don't get wheel slip. And then drag up, I'll close it. I don't think we're gonna have the speed though. I think is the issue here. It definitely gets a little bit steeper. Oh my god, we might have to ditch two cars and come back for it. This is so cool though. We're literally riding that limit, like the absolute limit. This is really the limit of the porter. I think if we had started all the way from the bottom with only the three cars, we would have made it all the way to the top. I think because we had the overweight amount, we lost it. And this is definitely steeper than 3%. If this is 4%, I'm going to alt-tab here to check. If this is 4%, Betsy can only pull 48,000 pounds, which is, we're way over that. We're like 10,000 over that. I think this is 4%. I think that's the problem. Yeah, no, Betsy, okay, you know what? Let's just break this car. We're, we're going to come back for these later. Nope. There you go. Look, Betsy's pulling away. All right, perfect. We're going to deliver these two, unload them, and then we'll back up down the hill... Grab that one, bring it up, and then unload it. Uh, we might be able to bring both, actually. Yeah, we should be able to bring that plus the empty one in behind it. So we'll have to get them. Betsy's just going to chug up here. This is amazing. It's literally the limit of Betsy. So this gets up to 4%. It must, because at 4%, we're then 10,000 pounds too heavy on the load. But Betsy couldn't do this run. Unless maybe with a full run at it, we wouldn't slow down enough. Maybe, because on the 3% section, you'd be fine, but... This part here is definitely 4%. There is a Railroad's online mapping website, apparently, where you can go and upload your maps, and it will download. I don't remember what the website is, but I know Dapper knows what it is, so I'm going to have to ask him, and I'll have to use it to map my track um, for a few things. One, it'll be cool to see the whole map of the track so far. 
but also apparently it shows you like the grade of your track in certain spots based on how you built it. So I'd be very curious to actually check because this can't, this has to be more than 3%. I think this is where it gets slightly above three and that's just enough to prevent Betsy from doing it. That's so cool though. That's fine. We'll go unload this and then we'll back up and uh, pick up the other ones and then bring them up. And we just have to do it in, in chunks. It'll be all good. But we should be able to do it, no problem. I need to rework this line though. Oh my god, this turn. This is not a class. You know what? This line actually needs to be reworked, I think, more than any other part of the map. If I buy a class 70, I'm pretty sure it's not making this turn. I think, and like, look at this. And this S bend nonsense. Like, this should just turn and go straight to that spot and then go straight and turn out. And then the other kinks. Really, it's this is this is the only part of the track I'm not really happy with. The rest of the track is actually a lot smoother, but this one line is uh, woo wee. It's pretty bad. I think it's what is it? Is it beams first or planks first? It's planks in front of beams. Oh, this is perfect. Should be able to actually just get this no problem. Put on some brake. Awesome. And let it roll super super slow. Love it. This is like my favorite way to unload cargo now. With the enter button, it's actually a lot easier because you can just line up in one spot. Instead of having to drag your mouse down, you just line up on it and then press enter. And boom. Perfect. And then we wait over here. Although this one we could stop for really, but it doesn't matter. Line up, press enter. Look at that. Unloads while you go. That's so cool. All right. Now we got to head back down the hill. Which actually should be pretty easy. Um, you know, seeing as how we're going down. And then we gotta hitch up those other two. And then bring them back up. We're literally just gonna do that. Let that go in full reg. And then uh, unload them and then we're good to go. It's kind of cool that Betsy's limit makes sense. When Heist showed me the update, uh, he was talking about how before engines were hard capped at a 5% grade. And now they can actually go up above 5%. But curious enough, Betsy's the only one that can't go above 5%. In fact, Betsy can't even go above 8%. At 9%, Betsy would slide down the hill under its own weight. And at 10%, same thing. Whereas all the other engines, even the Eureka, could technically go up a 10% hill, pulling like half an empty car weight or something. So it's kind of interesting that, you know, now with the new physics update, Betsy's actually the least powerful engine, which makes sense. I mean, that's what it what it should be. It's meant to just shunt around a few cars at a time. But on empty flat ground, Betsy can still push 700,000 pounds. So in a shunting yard, you could have Betsy assembling 20, 30, 40 car trains even. Because if they're all empty cars, you know, 700,000 pounds isn't really a lot of weight. Or is a lot of weight. So it's kind of cool that Betsy is no longer the OP train for climbing mountains. Also, I think at 100% break, we're still going to slide. Wow, this is, this is kind of cool. But yeah, it's neat. It means that once you get to the iron mine and stuff, which makes sense. I mean, by the time you're at the iron mine, you probably shouldn't be running Betsy. Unless you want to do like, you know, one or two or three cars at a time. If this was all 3%, we should have been able to do these three cars. Obviously, this gets too steep, and so we can't. But it's really cool that uh, the engines make more sense now with this new update. I'm really a huge fan. And I noticed in the main menu too, they added a difficulty slider. So I'm playing on realistic difficulty, which means all the weights are, are what they are. But you can play on more casual difficulties, which apparently make things lighter and a lot easier to deal with. So you can have longer trains with less effort. Um, I don't exactly know the specifics of those settings, but there is now an option to adjust that before you host every new game. So you could have, you know, an easy mode server or whatever where Betsy's back to being OP. Uh, I'm not sure if it goes to the old physics or what it does specifically for that. But there is an option, which is kind of nice if you want to just, you know... Especially if you're just learning and you want to just learn the mechanics of the game. It might be nice to be able to, uh, you know, have a casual sort of playthrough initially. Alright, we got that one. Let's take the break off it. Now we should keep sliding. Uh, and then we got to get the last one. Now with these cars, we're, what, 8,800 pounds? Call it 9,000 pounds times 4, so that's 36,000 pounds. Um... And then plus the loaded beam weight, which is like another 10,000 pounds, so it's 46,000 pounds. So it's 48,000 pounds to go up 4% with the Betsy, so we should be fine on this. We're definitely going to derail here. Oh, that felt so bad. All right, so what can Betsy do up 4%? Let's just check here. So Betsy, 4%, 48,000 pounds. Okay, so even if this is, yeah, this is, this is not enough. 
So even if it does get up to 4%, we should have no problem doing it here with Betsy. Let's just remove that, remove that, turn that break off. Let's go. We're, we're doing it. We're hauling. How's our water level looking? I can't tell. Is it still 500? It's still 500. I think you can overfill Betsy. Betsy hasn't consumed any water since we've started. Or maybe it's a bug. I'm not sure. But we're still at 500 water. Maybe it's just not displaying it? I, I actually don't know. Fuel is a little low. Let's put some fuel in. I don't, I don't know if I grabbed any. There we go. 80%. Sure. Good enough. This track needs to be made class 70 safe, as I think it should be called. It's definitely a 4% grade. I think it gets between 3 and 4. I'm going to say 3.5, but I really should use the mapping tool to find out for sure. But the turns are definitely not class 70 safe. I feel like, based on money, the class 70 is the next engine I should buy. It's only like 4,000 or something like that. It would make a lot of sense, but it's got a really, really wide set of drive wheels. Like, really long. So sharp turns will probably just derail it. Um, I don't actually know how the game handles that, but definitely need to smooth these turns out because they're just a little bit ridiculous. We're doing this no problem though. I, I don't even think Betsy's going to bog down at all. Maybe it will a little bit. I might have to build a test track at some point with like specific inclines just so we can actually take a look at engines on different inclines. That would be a really cool thing to try just so we can prove it in a much more controlled environment. Um, you know, obviously running loads is really the more economical thing to do because you make some money in the meantime but i'd love to actually see and prove it with a proper test track and know exactly specifically like as close as possible you know what the inclines of each section are and perfectly straight of course all right and unload you wonderful Now let's just keep rolling on through and head on back to the freight depot. 15 iron. Awesome. Awesome. Definitely definitely need to do a trip at some point. We need more than that, though. We need to do 40 at least. Ideally, I want to get it up to 100 and then do a trip of 10 iron iron cars because I feel like that's, that's a really heavy train. It's like 500,000 pounds or something. I feel like that would be a fun train to try and navigate down this hill. Uh, we're going to just... We're just going to... I'm just going to send it with Betsy... I mean, last time we let Betsy go at 100% and it made it down this hill, theoretically. But that was on the old physics update, so we're just going to try it this time. I don't know if it's going to make it. Betsy's heavier now. I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to turn the regulator off, but at the same point in time, you know, it should make it, right? Last time, it honestly, I let Betsy go a couple episodes. I don't remember what episode, like five episodes ago or something. Started going down the iron mine on its own. We ended up finding it down in the ditch. Uh, but it didn't die. It stayed on the track. So... You know, we are pulling a load this time. Last time Betsy didn't have any load. It was empty. But I mean, we'll just, you know, we'll just full send it. Cars will stay on the track. It's fine. It's a pretty smooth track. Oh, I, I hit my W key. I thought that was me flying off for a second. I guess, you know, let's just go more towards the back. That way we can check and see if any car falls off in particular. This seems so sketchy. I feel like Betsy's got a small enough wheelbase, though, that it just sticks to the track like a roller coaster. Even at full reg. It's actually kind of amazing. I mean, it jumped two switches today on its own and just didn't care. This part feels like a roller coaster. Here we go. Down the hill. This is like 4 or 5% or 6% or, or something ridiculous. This is an actually insane a hill. This is only meant for downhill. You should never go up this. Ever. Oh my god. It, are we gonna do it? Look at the speed wobbles on these cars. Holy cow, it did it! It survived! Oh, that was so cool! It feels like a, I, need, I need to build a roller coaster at some point in time, too. That's. Oh, oh, no. Flat hill, flat. Really? Really? It was flat, Betsy. It was flat. A flat bridge killed you. Alright, well, let's break these. There we go. Per we can actually put Betsy right on the track here. How did a flat hill kill you? Uh, we are going to have to slow it down, though, because there are some switches that I think we have to set. I don't remember where exactly the track was set to. Well, it was coming back from the smelter, so that Y is going to be set. Um, and then I think it was coming back from the coal mine as well, so we're going to have to change that switch as well, which is coming up soon here. 
Oh, that was amazing. That went so much better than I thought it would. I can't believe you derailed though, Betsy. I'm, I'm disappointed. It's probably honestly because of the cars behind it. They were probably like pushing Betsy, which is what caused derail. I bet on its own, Betsy would have been fine through that section. I think the cars push with a lot of weight. And all the cars kind of get the speed wobbles. You can see like they jitter back and forth. Oh, but they're totally going to derail Betsy here, aren't they? Oh, maybe not. That seemed a little sketchy. We're good. We're good. Let's just go to the back again. Will be the brake man on this final car's brake. All right, perfect. I think we're going to have to set a switch up here, though. I'm going to hit this at 100% brake, slow us down. Wonderful. Oh, I guess I should unset it. That would help. All right, let's just run ahead, get the switches. I'm honestly just going to get this switch and then jump down and let Betsy coast down towards us. All right, this first switch is set, which is perfect. No sign of Betsy yet, but that's okay. Has only been a bit. It's probably still coasting to get to the hill. And then it's this switch right here. We just need to flick this one, and then we're good to go. Oh, no, and the one at the top of the hill. Shoot. But we're gonna have to set Betsy's power first. It's not gonna coast all the way up the hill. Okay, so we'll have to wait for Betsy here, and then jump off when we get towards the top. It'd be kind of nice if the... Oh, there's... Oh, wow. You are flying. How's it going? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's so cool. Ah, cool. That was, like, perfect timing. All right, we'll set you 50%. 100%. I mean, this is, uh, 3% grade. Which is only empties, though. 32,000 pounds. Technically, Betsy can pull this with, like, half power. Perfect. Alright, now we just gotta ride it to the top, hit that one last switch, and we're good to go. Back to the freight depot. Although, we really don't have to go back to the freight depot, but... I often end videos way out in the middle of nowhere. So I figure this time, we were gonna drive back on video. We've accomplished the objective, and now we're gonna get back home. Every time I start an episode, I have to drive all the way home first, and then set up, and then actually, like, you know, start recording. But today, we're doing it all in one. It's gonna be perfect. You get the full experience. Alright, let's just jump out. Uh, I think we're faster than Betsy. No, we are not. Okay, Betsy is way too quick. Let's put some brake on. I'm sure brake against the regulator was always recommended for operating a train effectively. Alright, well, I'm actually going to stop at the sawmill. Because I think, uh... I think we might need to re-engineer this track here at some point. Uh, some point, maybe soon. Uh, soon enough that I think I'm going to stop at the sawmill here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, other engines we should test. Definitely got to buy another engine. We do have some money now, $5,300. So we could afford to buy another engine and more cars and run some more loads, of course. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I would like to test some new engines under the new physics. I just love these new physics, though. I think they feel a lot better. The braking especially feels a lot better. And again, I am playing on the realistic physics setting, which just feels fantastic. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time.